Hello and welcome to a video on my second channel. Today I'm going to be building a Game Boy for a viewer of mine uh, who reached out to me on Twitter who had a very cool item which will be in a video on my main channel and he wanted to swap it with a Game Boy that I built him. So I've um, you know, been speaking to him about what he wants and uh, this is the video of me building it and he kind of, he didn't ask me for me to make a video um, doing it but I thought why not, it's always fun and uh, people can hopefully learn from it, although I've done this mod quite a few times now, um, but this is just going to be a DMG IPS mod. Um, however, the one thing that is going to be slightly different is I'm using a shell from a company called Retro6. Uh, the guy wanted a purple shell, and also he's already sent out my thing, and I haven't sent out his thing yet, um, so I wanted to order it quickly, and this is in the UK. So um, the Retro6 shells seem to have mixed like reviews. Um, this is it here. It feels like it's a slightly soft touch um, paint. We would probably be able to tell if we open it up. Yeah, and you can see there, um, that is usually an indication of the soft touch paint, but it does feel uh, really nice. It doesn't feel weird, you know, it feels absolutely fine. They have had to write on the uh, on the front of the shell there for Nintendo Game Boy. Um, you don't really see it, and I suppose you probably could just go over that, but you really don't see it at all. Included is the glass screen lens, looks absolutely perfect. And you've also got your buttons, some brand new membranes, which is lovely. And I think this whole thing comes to about 14 or 15 pounds or something like that. And then in here, you've got um, your, your slot for your batteries. But the nice thing about all of these Retro 6 shells, and you can see they have actually done their own mold there. You've got the Retro 6 and handheld legend logo, um, is it's pre-cut, ready for you to just drop in one of their battery mods. So um, you can drop in a battery mod and I think you can buy a replacement um, battery cover that has a hole in it for a USB-C. Um, I think it's called the Clean Juice or something. So everything's already pre-cut, so he can just slot that in if he wishes down the line. Um, so that's quite a cool thing. And then we're gonna be installing uh, this IPS screen kit. I'm fairly certain it's probably gonna be a RIPS V3 or something. Oh, and really conveniently, this one actually has a um, speaker already soldered to it. So that's nice, although there's not any protection on the screen, which is slightly concerning. That definitely could have been very damaged in transit. Everything's also um, already assembled onto the back of the screen, and there's a bracket um, adhered onto the back with some double-sided tape, it looks like, so uh, that's cool. Um, and then there's some adhesive for the speaker and the ribbon cable for the screen, and that is it. So let's make this guy a Game Boy. Just trying to turn it on. Oh, there we go. It has just worked now. It wasn't working before. There you go. The screen's actually perfect, so I'll keep that, and uh, we'll be able to use that for a future repair. Um, but I'm going to just be going through this quite quickly. I'll skip past me unscrewing some stuff and I'll show you how to install this mod. Here we go. The shell is in disgusting condition, but that doesn't really matter because we could clean it in the future, um, but we're going to be replacing it with another shell for him, obviously, because it's a brand new Game Boy that I'm trying to build him. Um, so yeah, also as a YouTuber, you kind of got to be like ambidextrous with you're unscrewing because if I reach over, the focus changes to my hand, which is very frustrating for people to watch. Um, okay, yank. Um, the speaker has been nabbed from this one. That's interesting. I might have done that myself, actually. I don't know how long I've had this Game Boy for, but um, that might have been me. Anyway, set that to the side. We don't even need it. The only thing we need is this back motherboard right here. Okay, there we go. That is all we need from this uh, Game Boy. Um, everything else is in here, including a brand new metal shield. So that's very cool. So I'm now gonna give this a very thorough clean with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, I have got some Q-tips, but this uh, paintbrush thing worked really well the last time, and I was really happy with the outcome. It kind of brushes off the dirt and dust, um, and also gets the IPA into all the little nooks and crannies and stuff, so it's a great thing. Here we go, let's uh, give it a bit of that. <laughs> you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see that there, proper minging. Right, now it's time to start installing everything. So I'm gonna take the front half of the DMG shell and this bag of buttons. Uh, I've never had any or noticed any problem with the buttons that Retro 6 make. 
Um, so I would say they're fairly good. Um, here is the membrane for the, um, the start and select and it feels absolutely fantastic. So we can drop all of the buttons in. This is gonna be a very nice looking Game Boy um, for sure, purple and black. All of these obviously are gonna make the, um, the contacts very nice and reliable, um, but as well as that, the contacts on this PCB are gonna be brand new. So, uh, you know, it's a brand new motherboard, it's brand new contacts, brand new rubber membrane. Next up, we're gonna drop in the screen. So just peel off the uh, adhesive protective film and we can slot that in. Push it down. That's hopefully gonna align everything and keep it all nice and centered. And then we can take this and put it in. So just connect the ribbon cable into the connector. Lovely. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take this little adhesive pad, which is for the speaker, and stick it inside this, like that. Oh, that's completely off camera. Good job, this is the second channel. And then uh, peel off the back. Fantastic. And then we're gonna take this tape off It's a very windy day here, so I'm wondering if you're gonna be able to hear the noise. Um, okay, and we can set this all down and then stick down the speaker. Look at that. Oh, that's all so lovely. Make sure the buttons all press. Good stuff. All feels fine to me. Okay, now we need to pop some screws in to keep it all there. So I'm gonna take my Phillips screwdriver Now it's time to take a look at the back. So this is fairly simple because this is already in there. Just gonna give it a quick wipe. Don't forget to put your power slider in and make sure that your switch is switched to the right part to align with that. And then we can drop that in and then screw it down. It's crazy to me how easy this is to do and the results you're gonna get are just gonna blow your mind. Um, backlighting a Game Boy in the past was only really done by very skilled people or um, people would give it a try who weren't very skilled and would break their Game Boys. But now, pretty much anyone could do this. There is absolutely no soldering required or anything like that. It's a uh, very basic. Next thing we're gonna be connecting the boards together. So I think this goes in blue side like that. And then we take this and connect it like that. I think that is the, the right way. Uh, we can quickly find out by just chucking some batteries in. Hey, look at that. This is also nice for the uh, the guy because he's just sent me his, uh, his game and it's an expensive game. So at least he can see that I've, uh, I've actually built it. I know that's not the full certainty in the world, but as a YouTuber, it would be a very unwise thing to do to try and scam someone. Okay, the batteries are in. There's one final thing for us to do besides testing it, and that is to stick on the black glass screen lens. So I'm just gonna wipe off the dust because this is a very static little piece of glass. Yes, look at that. Have we got sound? Yes, we do. Okay, let's try the brightness wheel. There we go. That's working. And finally, boom. Look at that, you got purple on purple. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna grab a game. The screen looks beautifully aligned. Speaker sounds fantastic. Buttons all feel good. Yes. Oh, mate. Might keep this myself, actually. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. Anyway, that is going to wrap up this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy this Game Boy when you receive it, my friend. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.